Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and welcome to my guide on the Temple of Ikov quest. Now, for this quest you need the following requirements. So there are no quest requirements, but you need these skills, level 42 thieving and level 40 range, and you must have the ability to defeat a level 77 enemy with range as well. Um, that is your only way of hurting him uh, in this due to the ice arrows you obtain, so you're going to have to have uh, a semi-decent range level uh, to do it. Obviously, with level 40 range being a requirement, that should be enough to uh, get you through the enemy. That's it for requirements, now onto the items. So you'll need a light source, um, you'll also need a bow, uh, maple or better as recommended, but it's up to you. And you're also going to need 20 unnoted limp work roots. Now during this quest there will be a part where you need to cross a bridge and you must have less weight than 0 kilograms. so you must be like minus 0.5 kilograms uh, or less than that. So any weight reducing clothing that you might have such as a spotted cape, uh, penance glove, uh, wicked robes uh, will massively help. Boots of lightness you'll obtain during this quest which do uh, give you a reduction in weight but basically you don't want to bring overly heavy armour. Um, now there is a part where you can bank your armour uh, to get across this section but you know what I mean you'll have to go back uh, to the bank afterwards and obtain your armor and weapons for the fight so it's up to you how you do it but obviously you'll be seeing what I'm wearing uh, during this quest so you should be able to uh, figure what sort of things to bring with you also if you do have access to uh, level um, 31 magic for telekinetic grab I believe it's that level anyway just double check um, Bring some lore runes and air runes. What you can do is unequip some of your armor and items and drop them on the floor, cross the bridge, and then pick them up with telekinetic grab. So um, there is an option available for you there as well. And obviously, a bit of food will help for the fight um, against the level 77 fire warrior. But that's it for the requirements and items, now onto the quest starting point. So we're currently at the Ardone Lodestone, which can be accessed via the Lodestone network. Now if you don't have this one unlocked, uh, in the video description below I have a guide on unlocking the full Lodestone network, and it just speeds up the completion of quests, especially this one, as most of the uh, destinations we're going to are near this Lodestone. Now the quest starting point is to go to the Flying Horse Inn, which is located, it's a pub located uh, west of the uh, bank, uh, which is located at the north of Ardone Castle, so if you just watch where I'm going, uh, you can cross a log if you have the agility level uh, to do so to get to the uh, bar quicker and I'll speak to you in a moment. Once you're at the uh, bar you want to look for a hooded man called Lucian and you want to talk to him to start the quest. So Lucian will say that he needs a hero to assist him in his endeavour to obtain a magical artefact. Tell him that you are indeed a hero and he mentions that the artefact is the Staff of Armadil. Respond with sounds like it will be a laugh and he will warn you that a dangerous monster guards the staff and can only be defeated by a weapon of ice. He will give you a pendant of Lucian to help you reach the staff. Uh, finally he will ask you to meet him in Varrock once you have found the artefact. So you want to equip your Pendant of Lucian, uh, and you'll want to make your way to the Temple of Ikov. Now it's near actually where the Ardon Lodestone was again, so you can teleport back there just to speed up from walking. Once you're back at the Ardo Lodestone, the Temple Ikov is located southeast of the Ranging Guild and northeast of where we are now. Um, so if you just watch where I'm heading, uh, it's slightly north of the farming uh, patch in Ardone, so you should soon see it. So, once you get near, you want to climb down the ladder to enter the temple, and then head west along the main corridor until you arrive at a staircase. Uh, make sure your light source is lit and go down the stairs. Now, uh, you want to go to the small northeast area and try to slash the spider web. It may, uh, it may take a few tries for you to do this, and you'll find the boots of lightness inside, and you want to equip them as they will give you a massive reduction on your weight. I think it's about 4.5 kilograms it will take off. You want to go back up the stairs and return to the centre of the corridor and enter the north gate and make sure you have Lucian's pendant equipped or you will not be able to enter it or say a great terror will overcome you and you'll be pushed away from the gate. Now inside you'll find level 58 skeletons, you want to run to the west until you come to a bridge which you must now cross, um, however this bridge is what you need uh, less than 0 kilograms to cross. So, if your total weight is 0 kilograms or more, the bridge will give way and you will fall into the lava below and you'll have to exit and sort of come round um, back into the entrance the long way round. Now, like I said at the beginning, uh, the Boots of Lightness re um, reduce your weight by 4.5 kilograms, so you may find that was enough to knock you down. Um, however, if you're carrying the Limp Work route, it may be most likely that your weight's going to be above. Now, if you brought the Telekinetic Grab runes, what you can do is unequip uh, several items and drop them on the floor, and then once your weight is below uh, 0 kilograms, so like minus 0.5 for example, you'll be able to safely cross the bridge, and then you can use Telekinetic Grab uh, to pick 
the items back up. Now, don't worry too much about losing the items as you'll have about two minutes before they disappear. That's the average sort of uh, time it takes for an item to disappear uh, once you've dropped it. If you find you've dropped a load of items and your weight is still um, way above what it needs to be, you may wish to go to the bank and deposit sort of like all your main armor. Uh, and then simply, when you're ready for the boss fight, you'll just have to go back to the bank and reobtain it. But hopefully, the telekinetic grab uh, trick worked for you uh, as it did work for me. So once you've got the correct weight, you want to cross the unstable bridge, and across the bridge, enter the room, and you'll need to take the lever, which is lying near the south wall, uh, and then you want to go um, across the bridge again. Now obviously if you did teleconnect uh, it, grab your items back into your inventory, uh, don't worry about dropping them again for crossing back through the bridge, all you'll do is just fall in the lava, and then you might just have to go the long way around to get back into the temple. Uh, you won't lose the lever or anything like that, so it just saves yourself a little bit of time. Uh, once you've crossed the bridge again, you want to head back to the main corridor where you sort of entered um, from the outside originally, and you want to put the lever on the lever bracket, um, which is not far from the ladder that you used to enter the temple in the first place. Just look, uh, if you look where I'm putting it now, uh, you should be able to find it. Now, at this point, if you're planning to go back and bank some items, um, or reobtain the items uh, for the fight coming up, you need to be sure to pull the lever and go through the south gate and come back out. If you leave the temple without doing this, you'll not be able to re-enter without collecting a new lever. Now, next we need to obtain some ice arrows for the fights that we're going to have coming up. Now, the area leading from the south gate is filled with a number of level 42 monsters, and you may have to spend some time there, uh, so it may be wise to return to the bank and obtain some uh, food if you think you're going to be a bit low. However, they're not overly aggressive these enemies, depending on your combat level. Once you're ready, enter the gate, and the entire icy passage is lined with six smaller sort of like sections, each containing a chest which may contain ice arrows. Now each chest randomly contains arrows, um, up to 14 arrows can be found in any one chest, um, but they um, change uh, every so often, um, so what it might be worth doing is searching each chest a couple of times, because it is possible to find two batches of arrows from the same chest if you're quick enough. Um, basically, go to each chest and keep searching it for arrows, and then if you get to the last chest, um, and you haven't actually got that many arrows for the fight, I would advise that you're probably going to only need sort of 10 to 15 arrows arrows, especially if you're using abilities, as you'll tend not to fire your arrows so much. But if you get to the last chest and you find that you haven't got enough arrows, simply hop worlds uh, and then do the same again, but in reverse, because obviously depending on the world is which chest has which arrows. Also, you are able to pick up some of the arrows you use during the fight, so uh, it might mean you do a bit of running back and forth from the enemy, but then it'll save you a bit of time uh, obtaining the ice arrows, so I'll leave that decision completely up to you. So once you have a decent amount of ice arrows, you want to return to the central corridor and enter the north gate. Now instead of going across the crumbling bridge this time, we're going to head north into an alcove where there is a lever on the, uh, on the north wall. First, you need to right click and search the lever for traps first and then pull it. If you pull the lever without having 42 thieving and you haven't searched it, you'll fall into a spike pit. Now this lever opens the gate into the guardian chamber to the west and you have to enter the chamber quickly or the lever and the trap will reset. Now you want to head to the north side of the chamber and try to open the door and a fire warrior will appear and use fire blast to shove you away from the door, although it will deal no damage. Now he's level 77 and despite his name he attacks with magic and he must be killed before the door can be opened and you need to harm him with the ice arrows. Now you'll probably find he's very easy for you, especially if you're using decent abilities uh, from the um, revolution sort of ability bar. Um, any sort of continuous hitting uh, abilities like combustion uh, will be very handy um, against him. And like I said, if you do start worrying that you're going to run out of the arrows that you're firing, simply pick them back up, re-equip them and then carry on fighting him. But you shouldn't have much difficulty against against him at all really. Once you've defeated him, you may pass into the next room. Uh, waiting too long will cause him to, you to uh, tell him to come back when you're stronger, however you can continue fighting him and you will not have recovered to full health. So after passing through the door, you want to talk to Winelda, who is the witch nearby, who will request 20 lim uh, limpwort roots in exchange for transporting you across the lava in your path. If you already have the limpwort roots in your inventory, it will take them automatically, so you're well prepared. Otherwise, you want to reobtain the limpwort roots uh, from the bank and then come back here. 
Once you've given her the route, after a short cutscene, you'll be teleported across, and then you want to run to the end of the passage, past a large room, um, there's skeletons and lesser demons, until you reach a safe area where you'll find a shiny key. You want to take the key, and then head northeast and enter the compound of the Guardians of Armadil. Now, at this part of the quest, you must decide if you want to side with Lucian or the Guardians of Armadil. Currently, the only difference this causes is that by signing with the Guardians, you'll receive um, a letter from them at some point, and you can get dependent, uh, dependent of Armadil by asking the Guardians rather than kill them. So, if you want to side with the Guardians, you want to remove the Pendant of Lucian and talk to one of them. They'll be impressed you've travelled so deep in the temple. Um, you then want to state that you are looking for the staff of Armadil and that Lucian will reward you for it and disappointed they will say that evil is lurking around and gives you an option to be splashed with holy water. Say that it's your time for your yearly bath and the Guardian will cleanse you of Lucian's influence and warn you that he's a Marjorat who must not get the staff otherwise he'll become too powerful. Uh, you'll then be given the Pendant of Armadil so you can go and attack and defeat him. On the other hand, if you wish to side with Lucian, uh, you want to go to the northwest corner of the compound and enter the small room, and the staff is located on a table in the southern part of the room. When you attempt to take the staff, the guardians might catch you and attempt to stop you and kill them uh, until you can obtain the staff. So either way, whether you've made the decision to side with Lucian or um, the Guardians, you then want to proceed to uh, head back out through the passageway, uh, and you want to head east and go up this uh, ladder here, and you'll find yourself in a shed outside McRubber's Wood, and you want to use the shiny key you obtained to exit the shed. Uh, this key can be used to reobtain this area later on, uh, if you wish to fight the demons in there, other than that it hasn't got much purpose. We now want to head back to Lucian to either give him the uh, staff or to kill him. Uh, you'll find Lucian in a house near Edgeville, which is literally located uh, on the border of the Grand Exchange, near where the little agility shortcut is. But to get there quickly, teleport to the Edgeville Lodestone via the Lodestone network. Once you arrive, head east and cross the little bridge uh, near where the agility shortcut is for the Grand Exchange, and then head south and you'll see a house with Lucian inside. So either you want to hand the Staff of Armadil over to Lucian if you decide to side with him, or if not, wearing your Armadil pendant, you want to attack Lucian, who has like one life point, um, and he will say that he doesn't have time for this, and he will get someone else to do his bidding. Um, regardless of whatever decision you made, it will come up, congratulations, you've completed the Temple of Ikov quest, and it will say you've either completed it for Armadil or for Lucian. Uh, either way, the same reward, you'll get one quest point, 10,500 ranging experience, 8,000 fletching experience, boots of Lightness, you'll get the Pendant of Lucian, which um, you obtained at the beginning of the quest, and you would have got the Armadil Pendant if you sided with the Guardians of Armadil. You'd also got the Shiny Key, which can be used for entering uh, through the back door of the Temple of Ikov, which I mentioned earlier on. Access to the Armadil Gravestone, uh, five Kudos in the Varrock Museum if you talk to Historian Menas, two Treasure Hunter Keys, and two Hearts of Ice. So yeah, overall, not really a difficult quest. Uh, this is the main sort of first starting quest for the Martial Art series and also the Rise of Lucian, which is a very good quest series, and I'm looking forward to making the guides on that. Uh, also, this is a main requirement for the Desert Treasure quest, which is on my uh, list to do very next, so when that quest is available, it will be in the description below. I know a lot of you have been asking me for that quest. And overall, the XP reward from this quest is pretty decent as well, and the Boots of Lightness do come in handy, especially with their weight-reducing bonuses, um, especially helps if you're doing a lot of uh, distance running, um, and obviously you can then get away with wearing a bit of armor and the Boots of Lightness at the same time without impacting your run energy. Uh, but yeah, I don't think you'll get stuck following my guide, however, if you do run into any problems at all, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you out as best I can. If not, thank you very much for watching, please make sure you like, favourite, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers guys, bye bye.